There we go. And I think we are live again. Pop up chart so I can see it. And there we go. So welcome back again. And as I said, what we're doing is focusing on the main missions. I've been playing with most of the things and have opened a second area, but Candem is mostly um, done. I'm not going to try to clean up on screen these things, but probably tech points and the banners, I'm going to do them online. The rest, the money and the files and everything, probably I'm going to run them offline because it takes too much time um, but today we're going to try to f uh, fast track a lot of uh, the main missions so we can we can advance in the story and then focus on the end game afterwards okay what do we got let's do this Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that dead sick are fighting along with them. Agreed. Grow the team. Then take down the fuckers exploiting our city. You forgetting the Mercs goose stepping in the streets? They got the city by the balls. Clan Kelly are also bad guys. Exploiting people who are weak? We kill them too. Fair, but remember that this zero day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. Do this. First of all, first of all, what do we have? Here? I found a leaf that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I have picked up an encrypted signal for the Tone Conference site that has been broadcasted on the loot since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. Might even get that fast. AR tech we sold. I mean, creatively shared. Yeah, but I'm gonna go back to my. Yeah, my character. Rescue, disrupt propaganda. Let's do those. Let's get them out of the way.
Okay, we already drunk here. Um, What are we doing? 400 there. Propaganda. Things our way. We get so much done if one of them was on our side. No, please. There you go. Cargo drone. Small one. Jack, we got a drone. Which definitely we're going to use. Buckingham Palace from above. <laughs> nice. Target is long gone. Disengage. Over and out. Thank you. So over there. 
Can we miss it? Feel free to use it at any time. Letting all the collectible pass. Uh, it will take time actually to gather more. Interesting. You can see a spider thing.
There is another one. There is a fork somewhere that I haven't seen. Okay, let's try it. Is there any detour? to pick it up. Okay, it's done. What else do we have? A rescue. a car when you need one.
get out of here. reduced to a pile of rubble, and to think of all the people who have died in the bombings. So what's with the security? Mm. This building should be under construction, not under guard. Mm, you got a point. So, what should I be looking for, Bagley? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal, it seems to be coming from within the rubble. What? Six points. 
checkpoint. There's also a text file here. There we go. And what else do we have? Oh, more text files. one more right there. Data relay, I'll have it. 
Okay, the relay should be here. behind the bombings. But it's more like the Kellys were acting as a supplier. This was Andolf. Who was the last they met with? She wasn't a Kelly. She could be part of Zero Day. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, who was controlling the spider thing and me, Bob? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. The police watched this happen. Now I'm interested. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Bloody hell. Am I supposed to tunnel through this? Or do you have some quantum thing I can use? Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Not a bad idea. exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero days M.O. Damn, hurry. We've got one of the libraries. So you are hired to hire all the targets? Stop it. We're all I need to know. So, this Zero Day roped in the old cadre of villainy into pulling off their scheme. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. serial number it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about this user or its assignment will be available at the station. The old bit had a tail on the real bombers. They sure have kept their mouths shut. Suppose they were in on it too. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard.
wasting my time, you sick dog. Hurry, <laughs> all right. You made your point.
Okay, here we go. I'll be at this station by the bollocks. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day where I miss the bloody cops. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons and the fact they're motivated by profit over the public service. Now, any record or information on the spider bot will be further in. Bill! Well, get your hands off me! There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Alvin wants us to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Right. You've done it. You've done it. All our Westminster targets have been accounted for. Albion's hurting and the people are coming out of their shells. I've even got a member of Parliament to get caught out of the what? Yeah, I thought it was strange too. So she has an idea how we might rally the people in the borough. You should meet her. Is this the spider bot we've been looking for? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you tell who last used it? Now get the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. All right. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met or Albion rather actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of his legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. 
There might be the only thing left of him now. They couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Some of these corporations could clean up our streets better than the same police force for who knows how long. When crime fighting in the street is like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? So don't tell me Albion has our best interests at heart. Sodder. If it was the police to handle it, Albion would be less, but they can't. Turn on this is perfect example. Punch lazy over the big box. There we go. Spider bot. Um, do we need to get out of here? Got it. Scanning the spider bot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new heavily armed privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Alright, fine. Spider-Bot fragment 
you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. A secret location? Well, further and further down the rabbit hole we go. Pushing at the ground station coordinates. There we go. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spy that you recovered regularly links these coordinates. Our mystery witness of the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Dark, remote, underground? Well, it's a perfect idea to plan a coup. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. There we go. Bloody hell. He's <laughs> enough for the books. Cop shot. Someone on the force had a bit too much time on their hands. Well, I'm happy with stopping all of your work, but you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. So what kind of personal project were they working on that brought them to the tongue body? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former Inspector now. 
since Albion's coup. But that is no more. The police for us has already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Kelly in bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of tarts are involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book. Going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Hayden Lau, video log. Plan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European processing center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead second insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught... Well, this will be my last entry, but I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Right. So it just confirms that Albion and the fucking Kellys are working together. Righteous a lot of It seems like... Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Oh, sods are being grabbed off the street. Like the bloody stars all over again. We have to do something about it. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EBC. The detectives like us call that a lead. Anything. This all the Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead set operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Bollocks. At least he's still in the country. The EPC, though, not gonna lie, that's not good. I've sent the details to your device, but advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. Okay, guys. I'm gonna end up the stream here. I'm gonna start up probably in half an hour ish. So, yeah. Peace out and thank you.
for joining and listening to what I have to say. So, all good. Cheers. <laughs>